All right, welcome back to uh, Career Build Series Part 59. Um, so we're going to continue work on the helicopter here. Um, currently getting about 100 knots out of this, so that's good. Um, so I think we'll start getting into making a custom uh, custom gyro. Uh, I think that would be something that's worthwhile doing. Um, so essentially, um, you know, the gyro in game is essentially just PIDs. And so, um, you know, the, one of the benefits of it is that it's a little bit more compact, so that it has um, some of the some of the stuff that you might need already built into it, like you know, essentially inertial sensors and things like that. So let's start looking at sensors we need. So we need uh, tilt sensors. Uh, so tilt for pitch. Okay, so that'll face forwards. Tilt for roll. And then we need a um, uh, where are we at here? Angular speed sensor. Angular speed sensor is for our yaw, as you can see, it's facing up, so it tests left, right. So those are our sensors. So that's essentially what's built into a um, gyro. And so there was there were some issues there where we get some leaning and stuff like that that hopefully uh, using a system like this will fix. So let's look in here. I also want to see what I have for space. Um, you know, a big thing with these types of uh, builds is getting them so that the uh, with these is getting them so that the small builds. It's you want to make sure that you can fit all of your components, and that's important. So. That's kind of one of the things I'm doing here is I want to make sure I can fit all my components in here. And so I'm just kind of looking for, you know, make sure I have enough micro space here. Like this whole back wall could be a microcontroller, things like that. Um, so when I build my microcontrollers, I can kind of look and see, am I going to have enough space? And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. All right. So I'm also kind of, I'm have a, let me let me do a little shaping here. Um you do a little shaping real quick. I might change the shape here a little on this. Um, I may or may not. Let me uh, test what I want to do here. So let me just start by, um, okay, so this is our build here. Let me make sure this is all, okay, let me uh, make sure this is all saved up. I think I backed it up, but let me double check it. Okay, so let me go like this. And then, of course, this one's built into the door, but we can fix that later if we need to. All right, so I think what I want to do here is I want to go back a couple um, because I want to... I like the rotor's height. And so the, I like the rotor's height like that, so let me... And so maybe uh, start wedging up around it. So I kind of want to see what. So I kind of want to make a pillar for it. Um, so this would just kind of inform the shape a little bit here. And then I, you know, I, this is nice and angular. I like to kind of make this helicopter a little bit more boxy, I think. Just kind of an aesthetics choice. So that looks kind of cool. Um, and then because of this new shape here, let me see what I can do here. Nope. Um, Where is it? It's weird how you have to like get those angled in sometimes like that. And then maybe go down with those two by wedges here. This will also give us a little bit more interior space, make it feel maybe a little less claustrophobic. Um, kind of make it a little boxier, I think. Yeah, I'm already kind of digging this. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is kind of a little bit boxier. I'm 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 liking this already. So, and then the door can doesn't need to have that part. Not that that was bothering me, but um, 
that had, had this section in here, but that will also, if we have any issues with, um, you know, like, see, we, uh, we actually did have an issue there, so, um, like, this was, okay, we're up, I screwed up my track segment with the window. Yeah, I screwed up by putting that window and I cut out my track segment, so that was good to learn. Um, see what I can do here. Um, I'll work on that in a second, but um, yes, yeah, so the door will go like this. I'm I'm liking that a lot better. That's looking that's looking the business. That um, I really like that a lot. So that's that's kind of a better shape. So you know, like you saw you saw the miserable box that I started with, and that was that's kind of my method to start. You know, really boxy, make it you know, general shape, how do I generally want this to look, and then you can start. So I kind of like that a little more rounded. You know, I'm not digging this area right here, but, um, you know, I, I might be able to cut that in earlier, and, uh, um, you know, let's see if I can cut it in right here. You know, those were just, um, I could just remake those. Um, you know, like I was saying, I don't want to cut in too much just because I make it tough for myself later. Yeah, I make it tough for myself later just to hide microcontrollers and things. Let me see. I, I really wasn't digging that too much in the back there. Um, kind of see what we're looking at here. See if this this is uh, more interesting to me. And then the reason why I'm not just dragging these is I don't want to have to go back and delete out the interior section portions of them. So that's why I'm. You know, I'm going to drag down like this just so that I don't have to delete them because it's just adding extra weight that I don't need. Yeah, so that's that's looking pretty cool. I like that better, I think. This is kind of coming to a better tail section here. And then the wheels themselves, I'm going to um, unspring. Yeah, like that. It's looking boxier. I like that a lot. I just lost a ton of microcontroller space, but... Um, I think we're going to be all right, you know, looking at what I had for microcontrollers, what I have to keep putting in. I think I'm going to be fine, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, but I, I'm liking the design here. Yeah, I'm liking the design a lot. Okay. And then I still do think I have plenty of space for microcontrollers, so... Yeah, see, like, I have good, that's a, I could build off of, like, that, maybe. So I have plenty of space to, to play around, and then I still have a pretty big belly pan I can play with, so. And then I didn't like this transition here, so I think I can cut into this and fix it, make it look a little bit more like I want it to. Yeah, see, like, I can do that. And then the transition's much smoother as well. Yeah, so I'm really liking that. That's looking better to me. That looks better to me. I like that much better. Okay, so let's get... I'm, I'm not happy with my wheels and suspension. Trying to think. So I kind of want a wider stance in the front. That's going to be my rear, and then I want a wider stance in the front.
So I kind of have an idea here what I want to do. Sorry, I'm getting quiet. I'm just, uh, ugh, yuck. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do there. Okay, I'm trying to think of how to get that, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to make some suspension on this. I'm just trying to figure out the angle here. That needs to stay where that is. Um, I want a wider stance like I'm doing here. Um, so I think I'm going to go out one on these. Make it even wider. And then what I'll do is... Um, I'll play with that in a second to kind of smooth this out here. This will just be like that more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm trying to do something a little bit funky, um, but I think it will it will turn out nice if I can get it to function. might be a mess but um yeah this is gonna be a mess um okay I was gonna what I was gonna do is I was gonna put suspension across but I don't think I'm gonna do that um What I could do is this, though. I could do cross-link suspension in the middle. I like that that nice wide stance is pretty good for me. Um, am I gonna hate it if I go in one? I don't think I will. Okay, I'll make. Sh I'll show you what I'm doing here in a second. In. Um, building some of this custom suspension for yourself can be a massive headache. Um, you know, kind of building it like IRL suspension, but sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. You know, if you do it for aesthetics, you know, sometimes end up having to just XML edit it. This isn't going to work. Um, like, see, I was thinking of doing this where these would cross connect like that. Actually I can do that I think. I just don't need the connector. Oh come on, get out of there. Yeah this will actually kinda work I think if I do it like this. Yeah.
Yeah, see it squats a little bit. Those are pushing out. And then let's, uh, that I'm not thrilled with, but I can change that out for, I think, one by wedges and uh, get the angle right, or I can XML edit something here. I think if I just do this, like that, I'm happy with here. What is over there that keeps screwing up my, uh, every time I try to, every time I try to cut something, I had something sitting there. That's better. I like that. Okay, so that's just kind of gives an interesting look. I was trying to do up tall suspension, uh, but that's just going to add make turn into a, a mess because I have to have to do multiple pivots to get that to work, and it's just they're they're three blocks wide, so you know you can do it on something large, but something small is tough to tough to make it work. Um, that's kind of cool. It looks a little bit beefier, I think, um, a little bit more functional. Let's see what's the height. Little bit on the on the short end, so I think I'm gonna go up one on these two tires here. Move the whole build up. Ooh, probably merge them. Wouldn't that be nice to merge them? Gets to merge your tires. There we go. That's sitting up, sitting up a little bit higher. There we go. I'm digging this. This is looking cool. So I actually wonder if these articulate when I take off. Let me try it. I want to see if they just push those arms out. I think they probably will. Where's my window hanging? I don't have anything hooked up because I took the gyro off. See, can I go up a block on this? What is it? There? Oh, that's my door controller. Let me go up a block on the pivot. That'll look a little less stubby, I think. block here too. Looks a little weird, but um, it's a weird it's a weird little helicopter. So I, I kind of like it. Okay, so see, it's kind of sitting a little cockeyed there. I might abandon this. This is gonna see it's doing phantom forces already. Yeah, I'm gonna abandon that just for that reason. It's um, I think I can make something look cool without having it to. Um, like here, I could do this, keep those there, and then instead of having them actually do anything, just have them for show, like this here, or something like that. If I did it in the right spot, that would be great. Um, yeah, see, like, do them like this, and then they're actually not doing anything, they're just there for show. That way, uh, that way I'm not having all sorts of weird nonsense forces. It may not let me join them. Yes, it won't let me join them. Um, that's all right. I 
That is all right. All right. I don't want these too thick. I kind of want them stocky like this. I want this to look like a locust or bug or something. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yep. I prefer that to what we had before. I like the general shape, of the redoing of the shape. I like the different uh, height on the cockpit. All right, so let's start working some function here. Um... All right, and then now hopefully we'll have a custom gyro after this as well. So, all right, so there's gonna be a custom helicopter gyro. So I need expecting a bunch of space. So I need to have angular in angular. Pitch tilt. Roll tilt. Seat. Um, let's see what's this going to be. Um, Maybe number output to uh, collective. Collective. That's going to be a number output to yaw. Roll. Pitch. Okay. Get in here and start making making sense of this mess. So, um, hoping I can keep them all the same um, basic numbers. I think uh, for the pids. So we have four. We need four pids. Okay, so those are going to go there. All right, so that's set up. Um, so uh, what's angular is yaw. Pitch is pitch. Roll is roll. And then I'm just going to probably smooth collective. I don't really need... Uh, Yeah. All right, so these are going to be all the um, process variables. Process variables. Process variable. And then this is going to... Uh, I'm going to smooth this, so it's going to read its own signal, I think, for now. I might change that. Um, okay, I don't want that. I want numbers. Um, number. Okay, so one is AD. AD is roll. Okay, so two is going to be WS is pitch. Three is um, yaw, it's left, right. And four is going to be col um, collective up down. Okay, so that's that. And then we'll make um, six will be the essentially turn our gyro on. Kind of like to be a button on the dash, but it's not critical that I do exactly what I want. Um,
Okay, so I'm going to want to move these p-values to start with on the fly. So um, I'm going to add in the p-value here. I'm going to start with just p-value. I'll have to smooth them out later. Um, input p-value. Once we get, if we can get the pro, the um, if we can get the proportional gain, which is the p-value, um, close to where it needs to be, then we can start working on the other numbers. Um, okay, update that. All right, let's start hooking up. So I need uh, all my stuff back again. Angular. Angular. Okay, there it is. Angular. Okay, I need a pitch tilt. Tilt sensor. I'm just gonna throw in stuff wherever right now. I just uh, want it on here and uh, I can move them to better spots later. So that's angular right here. Angular is going to angular. Pitch is going to pitch. Roll is going to roll. Um, P value is going to go to keypad. Pitch is going to go to the rotor's pitch. Roll to roll. Collective and then yaw. Uh, P value, I need a keypad. I'm going to delete first. Just delete this out here first. Key. Keypad. Keypad there. Keypad goes there, and then I need the seat collective. All right, so let's see what this looks like here. There's a bug that I want to name this after, I think. I forget what it's called. Maybe leaf hopper or something. I forget what it's called. I'll show you a picture of it. Okay, oh, so I need to put in a p-value here. One to start with here. Six, turn on the PIDs. Yeah, I haven't made one of these gyros in a while, so... Okay, it's, it's working, it's just... Oh, what the hell. Okay. Alright. So let's see, I didn't cook... I don't think I... Okay, let me look at what's up here. All right, pitch tilt, number two, seat, one. So let me uh, start up again. Let me try to play with this. I haven't done one of these in a while. What I'll often do is I use a stock gyro and then I'll go through and I will um, I'll feed I'll feed uh, I use a stock gyro and I use it for final smoothing or something. So I'm trying to get away from that on this one. making sure m nothing's hooked up backwards here, but I'm currently not getting any connection. I might look at somebody's build um, who does their own custom gyros and see what's, what they're doing. Let me do that real quick. Um, let me look at Carnival's helicopter. He does his own custom gyros and uh, just interested. This is his new one. I'm just kind of interested in how he's setting them up because I often do them a different way. So I kind of want to see how he's setting them up. So that is, oh, he's doing this light Z's gyro. Okay. 
I'm going to make my own gyro. So let me see. Pilot seats. One. One, one, one. Okay, I want to look at the final figures here and how they're being smoothed out. Okay, roll. That's a clamp and a delta. What's that going to? Okay, I'm not screwing with this right now. Um, I'm going to do it kind of the way I've had good success doing this. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this the way I've had good success doing this. Um, it just makes it much easier this way, I find. Um, and then, yeah, if I, if I get a good gyro built at some point, I'll throw it in here. But um, I don't want to screw around too much. Um, I don't want to spend hours working on this. Um, I'm trying to get this done so we can use it in game. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the um, I think I'm going to do is start uh, do I want a final smoothing? I'm going to start with this gyro and then feed it through I think um, at some point. Yeah. Let me just get this up and running for right now. I think what I'm trying to think through what's going on with my gyro. All right, it's reading those numbers. Those are the process variables. What it's doing: tilt, angular, all of that. And then I'm giving it a desired input that I want from the seat. So let's just do this. Let's keep it the, hooked up the way it is, and let me just put in a crap load of dials. Okay. And so, like, I'm going to take over my speedo dial here a second. I need that keypad. I can put one here, I think. No, I can't I put it here, though. I just need to read some figures. All right, so my figures I'm going to be reading here is I'm going to start by what am I sending to collective? It's going to go there. What am I sending to pitch? I'm going to start with that yaw off and doesn't need any smoothing. Um, so let's see. Collective. And then pitch. And I kind of get a... Uh, kind of get a representation of what's going on with this gyro. I don't know if I even turned it on last time. Um, I should just put... It. Okay, so six turns it on. One. Okay. So I'm okay. Is it doing did it do something? I don't think it did anything. Okay, so see our pitch there? The pitch is moving around as I'm pitching here. So let me see, is my are my pitch blades moving? Okay, my pitch is moving. Okay, collective collective's moving. Okay. Okay, let's uh what's my yaw doing? Nothing. Okay, see how they're fluttering? That means it's it's doing something. So let's uh, start it up. All right, so what is that? That's collective. Yeah, so collective's doing something what I want. I have collective just set up to smooth, too. It's not actively doing anything, really. Um, okay, let me start feeding some thrust in this. Okay, so roll is having a problem. My roll is having a problem. Let's see what roll's doing here. I'm trying to roll and it's doing nothing. So it's not doing any roll. Okay, I didn't press. Okay, I need to turn on. Ugh. I need to put a one in here. I need to press six to turn them on. Okay, now. Okay, roll's going. Why is my yaw going when my roll's going? What is up with that? Okay, that's screwy. See, my yaw's going the same time I'm rolling. 
I didn't put the right number and that could be a problem there. Okay, let's check this. Okay, so my collective is four. My yaw should be three, not one. That That's probably why this is misbehaving, is I had some numbers wrong. Roll is one, that's AD, that's fine. Okay, let's spawn this. Let's see if it works. Um, it could have just been me screwing up the numbers. Um, where are you at? Come on, give me that thing. Give, let me, Jesus Christ. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll put in a paint with a number there that um, shows what I'm doing or what uh, where the where the button is so that you don't have to guess okay so let's check it here so uh, left right is roll now that's better I'm sorry uh, AD is roll left right as you can see is yaw pitch is pitch collective is collective okay let me start it up see what we're doing here Let me put some power in. You have full power to, to uh, probably lift off anyway. I don't feed in a collective, it's just it's slow. I know this looks terrible, but um, I'm learning some stuff from this that I need. Um, So I'll probably need to increase this number here. Let's go to 10. So we'll do 10 times. We'll do 6 to turn on. I really should put them on constant on as I'm doing all this testing because I'm going to I'm gonna be forgetting this 100 times that I need to turn it on. And I'll be like, what's it doing? It's doing this stuttering start because I gave it some throttle before I pressed the start button. So. Ooh. Okay, so see 10 is way too strong. Which I should have figured two. Let's try two. Try not to hit the wall. I need to turn damage off while I'm doing this testing. So some of this might be set up backwards. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to isolate what I'm working on here. So let me get in here real quick. Let me, let me make this a constant on. Okay, so instead of me triggering them with the six key, I'm gonna just constant on them. Um, you know, later I can do this. <clears throat> and then let me do this right now. Um, let me put numerical switch boxes in here. So when it's not on, I want to be able to. Um, when it's not on, I want to be able to control it manually. That way I can do manual controls. Um, Gyro is easier, but the issue is um, as you get up to speed, you're having roll issues. It's not rolling you properly. It starts doing a bunch of other funky things. So much as this is a pain, this kind of gets me going where I need to go. So um, I'm going to do kind of a more scientific approach here. I'm going to start with one as my number. Okay, so real simple, one. Alright, now I need to test the roll regime, so I'm just going to make sure they all work. Roll, pitch, collective, yaw. Okay, uh, make sure I don't have any trims in. I don't. Okay, let's start it. Okay, I'm just going to yaw a little bit to get it straightened out. So yaw is working in the correct direction. Right's right, left is left. Okay, next thing I want to do here is I want to um, try rolling right. I probably need to throttle up to get enough rotor RPS, RPM to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to roll right, and I want to make, I'm just holding roll. 
Okay. So I'm not getting any. It's it's trying to roll me, but it's it's. Um, I'm trying to see to make sure it's tipping in the right direction. Okay, now I'm gonna pitch. See if I'm pitching the right direction. All right, I'm gonna go collective, collective up. It's like it's. Like it's not giving me enough power or something. All right, let me test something else. I'm gonna put it back on six. I know I'm going back and forth here. Let me get rid of that for now. Um, go back to six. Yeah. Um, go back to six on turning these on because now I have the ability to also work them when they're not on. And I want to, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure these are all functioning the right direction off the bat. Um, so that means I need to manually fly this. I want to make sure everything's working right where it's going to manually fly because if it's, if it's a manual flight issue, it's a me problem. It's not an it problem. And then I'm trying to fix a me problem with it. And that's not going to do it. So Infinite electricity is still on. Yep. Okay, good. All right, so yaw is yaw. Let me pitch. Let me uh, start revving up. All right, so we're at full throttle now. Let me go up. Okay. What is? Why is it doing this? Okay. All right, so it's having some stability issues on its own. Let me try to get some weight in this. Let me drag some weight blocks up, make sure it's not just a weight, a weight and balance issue. All right, so I'm dragging this both forwards and down. Okay, so that's right under the rotor blades. See, what we can do, too, is we can um, ballast this just like we would a boat or anything else. They actually do that in planes, um, you know, where they'll, you know, if, if a plane's expected to carry passengers, um, you know, it's kind of designed to carry two passengers in the back, and they and you fly it as a trainer, and you, so you can have two passengers in the front but nobody in the back often. What they'll do is they'll put sandbags in the, in the nose to uh, counteract. Let me start throttling up here. I need to do this systematically, or else I'm going to run into problems. So, I need full throttle. Let me start. Let me start pitching. Okay, that's collective. All right, let me do this too. I need to shut off vehicle damage so that I can't just like break a prop right off the bat and then or a rotor and then have issues. So. Okay, so I'm in desperate need of a gyro here. It's just like, yeah, see? Desperate need of a gyro. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm trying to think. Trying to wonder if I can pre-smooth these. All right, let me let me get rid of all this tilt tilt angular all that. Let me do this. I'm gonna do what I'm, exactly what I'm doing with the color. Let me not do that right now. Let me do this. Let me directly feed collective to. Yeah, let me directly feed the collective to the um, collective. I didn't turn the system on last time. I didn't turn the system on. I have to press six now again. I forgot to turn it on. It's not necessarily why it screwed up, but. Um, 
if this this is going to be probably turn into a pain, so what I'll do is I'll just stick a gyro in there, and then I'll work on this later. But um, okay, get throttled up. Just working well with the gyro. It's just me trying to reinvent the wheel a little bit. I wanted to make my own custom helicopter gyro for a little while, so. Okay, so this is. Let me gently increase this. Okay, so I'm just gently increasing that. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a regular gyro. And then I'm going to feed this through this later to do all my autopilot and all that nonsense. Um, you know, I'm going to spend too much time on this. I can always come back to it later. Pitch. Uh, what's left, right? Left, right is yaw. So my last one's up down. Collective. Or six. Data six. Six goes there. Alright, so that's all connected in. Make sure this flies properly as it is. I don't need to do that anymore. Okay, let me try this. I just have a, I have a bunch of trim set in there, so I need to take them out quickly before this becomes a mess. Why is it spinning like crazy? Oh, six, turn that on. Okay, let me start throttling up. Okay, now it's misbehaving a little bit with the gyro. I remember this was flying better before too. Kind of acting funky now. I don't know what's up with it. Yeah, acting a little funky. I don't have the speed hooked up anymore. Yeah, see, I like to sit, sit on its side a little bit. Yeah, so this is very flyable with just the gyro. Um, let me shut the gyro. See, the gyro is a little bit of in, 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 um, inherent instability with this. It's not bad. I have the gyro. The gyro is never truly off. It's part of the thing. But like, see, I have a ton of. I have a ton of roll in there. I have a ton of uh, yaw trim in here. So um, let me get the um, let me get the tail rotor geared up properly. Um, some of this, if I can get the um, let me get that tail rotor fixed. All right. So what I want to do here is um, so let's look at how I set this up. So we have our gearbox going. Uh, where is it? Okay, so we have our gearbox going. So this is, this here is coming off of the um, engine coming down here to a gearbox for the upper rotor. Um, that is also turning the tail rotor at that speed. 
All right, so what I want to do is then I have that coming through to the tail rotor. So I need to see where my tail rotor connects. So that goes from there around here. Um, this is tail rotor, maybe. Remember? Um, you see where tail rotor comes in? Tail rotor comes in here. Okay, and so what I can do here is I can change my gearing on the tail rotor by instead, let's have that come in here. All right. Now let's have that come in here instead. So the tail rotor is going to come to here. I'm just going to go like that, and then I'll uh, do it with pipes. Alright, and then, um, alright, so the tail rotor is going to come in here. And then what I can do is I can re gear the tail rotor so that it's, um, that it's behaving itself a little bit differently. So I can have it, um, if it's spinning too fast, I can reverse gear it. If it's spinning too slow, I can up gear it. Um, things like that. You can also play with the um, also play with blades and everything else like that. All right, so let me try to find out the figure out the rhyme or reason for this tail rotor here. Um, all right, so I need to figure out what direction I need to go. So if I go to the right, go to the left. Okay, so let me uh, start it up. So I want to get this humming essentially at, so I need hard right to start with. Let me spin it up. Okay, so we're moving here. Let me see where, oh, god damn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't have the, I don't have the gyro on. I just want it sitting. I have, I have 49 Y in there. It's, my trim is way off. Okay. So I need to start putting in right. So it's trying to turn left. I need some right trim. Alright, so let me try... Let me try speeding up the tail rotor. So we want to face a gearbox towards the um, towards the engine. I'm going to go three to one just to do extreme. And then what I want to do is um, I want to get in the seat and I want to get out all these trims. So see, I had like a bunch of trim in there. I want no trims in there. Zero, zero. All right, spawn. I'm going to start this and see if this makes it better or worse. So it was turning to the left. I want to see if this um, makes it turn to the right or if it, is it still turn to the left. I don't think as much. Let's add some thrust in there. See, I don't have any brakes on my wheels. That's not helpful. Let me turn on the gyro for a second until I get outside. So see, I'm a much faster tail. Um, Tail's nine to one now, which I don't want it that fast. But um, let's turn off the gyro. See with the gyro off, I'm having I don't I'm not turning, so the tail rotor needs to be spinning. The tail rotor needs to be doing more work. Essentially, is what I'm saying. So the tail rotor was not doing enough work. All right, so we can fix that a couple ways. One is with gearing. Three to one's insanity. Um, we can go. We can go up on blades. So let's do a five. Let's do a six blade on there. And let me try bringing this down to a like a nine five. See, uh, see if I need any trim on this. Let me see where the trims are at. Zero trims. Okay. It's been doing all these weird things lately. So that's normal for it to start torquing you off the bat.
Let's see once I get this started what it looks like. Okay, so this is me just, you know, hand flying it. Okay, so no trim. It's a little bit. The tail rotor could be moving a little fast. Once it gets moving too fast, it looks like it's standing still, which I don't like either. So. But I can I can also set a trim value in there to start with. So. Flying pretty well. Um, let me take the gyro off again. See if I can hand fly this pretty effectively. I can see the gyro is doing most of the work I need it to do. Once we get up to speed, it's tough. You know, you, um, it helps to have some fins to roll. I'm gonna put some little wingies on this or something. It's actually flying pretty well. You go down and buzz this, um, this boat here. I don't know what speed I'm doing. Probably about 100 knots. But yeah, it's definitely nice having a pusher or puller prop because we don't have to tilt so much. Really liking the shape. Shape came out nice. Coming out nicely. Now let's fly it like a straight helicopter. I think I'm just gonna stick with the gyro at this point. Um, and then I'll work on that later. I don't wanna I don't wanna belabor this too much, you know. Yeah, see, um, do I have the gyro on or off? Now, the gyro's, you know, quote unquote off. It's, it's, um, it's never really off when you have a gyro on there. It's smoothing. Yeah, so you see, I have really good control of the helicopter right now. What do I have in there? 0 0.06 trim on the tail, so it's not a ton of trim. Yeah, see, I can very easily, um, do I dare try to land on this? Oh, why did it stop? That was engine stalled. Okay, let me see if I can land on this. So I, I don't have the gyro actively on it, it's passively on it. Let me see if I can land on this boat. I'm kind of a, uh, annoyed by the in general instability of my helicopter that I, you know, I was hoping to get it stable enough I didn't need the gyro, but um, I have to work on that, see what's up with that. If I, if I can land on this boat, I think we're in good business here as it's moving. I think we're in good business here for uh, where we need to be. Yeah, so we're we're in good shape here. You know, I was able to land on this boat, take off, kind of do a little bit of a stream pitching. I'm just kind of third person making a mess of it here. Um, that's all me just getting disoriented because I'm used to flying in, third, in first person. But nice, nice visibility, um, you know, even without doing the prop and then putting the prop on, we get really good speed. We still have plenty of um, power in this engine. I would like to, if I can get more gearboxes in this, I can reduce the, uh, I can reduce the output of the engine because the engine's more than powerful enough. So I can save us a little fuel, reduce the noise a little bit. But I'll put a I'll put a headphone in the seat too. But yeah, you can see this is gonna be a cool little helicopter. Kind of nice to get this going. As much as I didn't want to get a new build in, um, it's nice. 
So let me do one quick thing. I want to, I, I really need to be able to get this. I really want this helicopter hand flyable. So let me uh, try this really quick. You go to roll, pitch, um, yaw, and collective. Let me try to hand fly it one more time. See if I can hand fly this properly. Let me do one more thing too. Um, Oh, what are one and one and two are my so five. Let's do five. I want five to be the brakes for right now. I'm having issues where it's trying to roll away on me while I'm trying to power up my engine. That's not great. So let's just do that. So point oh six was where I was at there. So now I have no gyro. Let me throttle up. It's also not turning as much because I have, uh, let me put the point, uh, no, thought it was because of the brakes, but no. Okay, so it could be just general seat sensitivity. Let me dump the seat sensitivity down a bunch. Yeah, ten percent already. Um, let me do five percent. Let's bring these down to five. See if that does anything for me. Especially roll seems really sensitive. And so I'm curious how much the uh, curious how much the gyro is just taking out some of the sensitivity for me. Sure, none of my okay. I did have a little bit of uh, trim still left in there. So just mostly collectives. All I'm doing right now. Roll just seems brutal, dude. Let me go the other way. Let me put them up to 20s. It's taken me forever to get anything to respond to me. Yeah, worst case, we'll just use that gyro and then I'll figure out a new system. Now, I kind of like warts and all. Um, videos you know I like you know, see me struggling on this because a lot of people they um, you know they kind of expect that oh you know you they're having problems and they're struggling in the game getting something to work or the helicopter is unstable unstable and then they um, you know see somebody who cuts their videos and they're like oh look they're not having any problems it must be a me problem because well they're cutting their video and they're not showing you that it took them 20 minutes to get their uh, get this or that working you know so let's go back, we'll do 10%, we'll just run with the gyro for now. It's working beautifully without that. I'm not gonna screw with it too much. All right, again, I want this to be to where we can use it. And so let's stop screwing around with, you know, it's working. Let's get this, um, let's get this hooked back up with the gyro and then then hopefully we can get it to the point where if we do get a flying mission, because that was one of the reasons I wanted to do this, was we were getting flying missions and then had nothing to do. You know, we didn't have any vehicle to do it, to accomplish it, so I wanted to get to the point where I'd have something that if we got a flying mission that I could go do it. So, um, yeah, that was why I kind of took, you know, and I was going to do a um, coal and a container in the Mac R. But the issue I was having was the um, the issue was it was it's pitch black and so I have to go up the um, up the coal mount up the coal mountain 
with pitch black out, so it's kind of tough. Okay, so that's in there. Um, this, don't really want to delete it, but I kind of went out of the way. Cut that. All right. So I think this is flying fine with the at, um, center gravity off. I just need to at some point ballast this out so I can get some more center gravity. So, you know, I can put some things, you know, the further forward I put the weight, the um, more of an effect it has. So, like, I could put some right here. Turn on symmetry here. There's a couple weight blocks there to drag it forward just a hair. So, like, see. That's down and forwards. Um, I really wish they'd let you paint the weight blocks. That's something that's really kind of annoys us, many of us, is the, um, you know, the paint blocks, the dot on the paint blocks are very unsightly. And so, like, I would love to put two uh, weight blocks right here and put some more in the nose. That's where I want to put them. But I don't want this. I don't want that. So it's like, what you know, what can I do? So I'd like to be able to paint those. But all right, so this is looking, this is pretty good. Um, I don't know where we're at for time on this one, but I think uh, let's get this to a state where even if it has microcontrollers hanging off of it, um, we can go do a mission. That's, that's, I think, a good place to get to. Uh, that way, if a mission pops up, go do it. So um, I need door controls for this big door. All right. And, so I, and then I need a control for my winch. I need to fix the winch. Um, I d destroyed my window doing this. Um, yeah, so uh, that's something to do. Yeah, so this needs to be rethought here. Um, so uh, that can't go down a block on the other side of the window. Um, all right, so let's go symmetry cut. This, this window will go to a one by two. A little bit small, but it um, just mostly lets them light and kind of cut down the claustrophobia a little bit. All right, then we'll go across like this with that. This window here will go to a two by two, and it will go um, go right there. This will go back like that, and then this track section here will now be fixed and continue across. So that gets that done. Okay, this will go just block there, and then we can go back to symmetry, and we put in a 2x2 two two window. I actually kind of like the smaller window anyway. Two smaller windows kind of, I think, fit it better. Okay. So that's better there, I think, anyway. And then... All right, so let's get a microcontroller set up for all this. Um, plenty of space on the floor, I think. Um, so let me just start making it. All right, so we want to let's do rescue door, property rescue door. Rescue door. Okay, so we need to have I want to toggle for the door. Okay, just a simple toggle to open the door. Then we need to have a number that goes out. And that will actually be the number for the door. Okay, then we need to have a number that goes out for the slider. Okay. And then we're going to control the winch on that as well. So that needs to be a composite. And the winch is going to be controlled from the harness. 
harness. All right, and that way we can control like the slider um, from that as well. Okay, so the door starts closed, so that's going to go to a one. So door toggle is pretty simple. Numerical switch box starts at zero, constant number of one to open it. That's pretty simple. Um, slider is going to be Up down counter, um, it's gonna be better. Yeah, I think up down counter will be better. Um, so this will go from we'll set the speed of it, so I don't want this going fast. So let's do 0 0.2, no, 0.2. Enable that uh, increment, it's gonna be uh. One is fine. And then, so from the harness, I want to do, I think harness has regular seat controls. Um, I think left, right, left, right should be three. Turn the sensitivity all the way up on that. Um, do a threshold here. Uh, that's going to be down. Let's go to there. Okay. That'd be one. Actually, I don't need the up down counter from doing that. Um, yeah. So this. So I'm going to set the sensitivity high. That will be either read me a one, a zero, or a negative one. I can just put a simple function there. I want it 20% um, x times 0.2. That should do that nicely. Okay, then here I want um, up down on the winch. That will be controlled by the harness as well. So that will be same type of thing. Um, that will be two. Two is W. Um, slider. Slider is left, right. So I want um, four is up, down. Then I can do thresholds for this. So. One, one will be uh, up, and then negative one, negative one will be down. Okay, let's see if I can hook this up to make it work. Um, one of the issues I have is it they make it so you can't hold a, a rescue victim there, <laughs> rescue victim, a uh, person when you have a harness on you. How big is the harness? I forget how big this harness is. I think it's a one wide. Um, we hope it's a one wide. Oh, it's a three wide. Get out of here. Um, okay, so I need to connect this harness. So the harness is going to go... Let's get out of here, symmetry, please. Okay, harness is going to go like this. Okay, then I want to set the harness. I want trigger. Oh, I thought you were going to work like a friggin seat. Do you not work like a seat? That's that annoys me. I thought this worked like a seat. I guess it doesn't. I forgot. Um, okay. Whatever. Works like it works. So. Alright, so what this is going to do here is I need to cut this again. I need to cut this and I need to attach this um, because it's big. 
Alright, so this is going to get a cable connector here. And then this gets set up logic wise like this. Um, so, right here, the seat data goes to here. Um, and then I need a hanging. Um, then I need to just hook a cable there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a just kind of a cable holster for want of a better term. Um, it will just hold the cable so that I can go like this. And that's how I'll attach my cable. All right. And I need a toggle button. So the toggle button is going to be right where this these microcontrollers are sitting. Actually, no, I'm going to put it right in the door, so it'll be right there. Put a two-sided toggle. That way I can control it from either side. Okay, that logic, where's that going? That's going to here. This is going to um, door, which is which? This one? Nope, this one. Okay, um, that is slider. Slider's there. Uh, that's going to be winch down and winch up. This here is going to be harness, which comes through here. And then when that connects, that will read the harness. So now what do I need to do harness-wise? So um, it has one, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and a trigger. So Okay, so door toggle or trigger. I think we'll use the trigger for the door. Trigger is what, 31? I think 31. I think 32 is occupied, 31's trigger. Okay, so the, the, either of those will control my door. Um, okay, so I was doing three, which I don't have a three. So one, um, those have to go, all that has to go. Um, that's fine. Numerical switch box, I can do this with two numerical switch boxes. Like that, not as kind of, not as easy as I had it, but it's not bad either. So, um, Make point uh point two come on come back come back come back come back point two and then negative point two press it three times okay I just want to get through this door before I end that way uh kind of have some tangible progress I think um all right so now the harness is gonna go um trigger opens the door slider um three, I think. Okay. Okay, so uh, one is going to be winch up. Two is going to be winch down. Three is going to be slider positive. And four is going to be slider um, negative. I don't want to do that. Okay, like that's good. All right, um, that way we are in business, I think. Um, so you operate this with the harness. So I'm just going to do a, a test run. Let me see. That's good. These need to be uh, connected. That's slider there. Okay, that should be good. Um, let's spawn it. Okay, so sit properly, please. Thank you. All right, so door opens. We grab this um, r this cable. We jam it on that harness. We sit in the harness. Okay, now we are <laughs> winching my poor carcass up. All right, so three is going to push the slider out. Four is going to push my poor carcass in. Let's 
Okay, so I may have screwed up the tri the uh, what's a trigger and what's not a trigger. Um, we look logic composite. What is trigger? Um, on off thirty two is occupied. Okay, trigger is thirty one. Okay, why is trigger not working? Do I have a two sided push? Probably not. Okay, I do have a push two sided. All right, let me try something as it is. I don't want to screw with it. Um, kind of know what I want to do, but I'm gonna. Okay. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. Um. Here, let me do this. this. Um, I'm going to have to make this bigger just to accommodate this, but whatever. Um, properties go one wider. Let's add a logic. Output harness door. Okay. Come over here. Harness door. So where we go to get out of the way. Um, instead of having this do an or, door toggle will go there. Or will be gone. This will go to harness door. And that's going to, um, I'll show you here in a second. So that will go harness door. And that will be able to toggle that two sided input. Okay, let's try that now. Okay, so door opens. Grab the cable, theoretically, hook it up. Jump in the harness. I want to push it out. Let me go in third person. Oh my god, what's going on here? Uh, let's go three. That comes out. Let's go one. Let's, let's, let's fish myself up. Okay, here I go. Okay, let's do four. Put me in. <laughs> and there I'm in. Okay, I control the door. Okay, now I'm in. All right. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. All right, so now what's really annoying is the way they set up the... Um, the way they set this up in game is I wish you could carry a person while you're in the harness. That's That would be really good. Um, you can't. And that's brutal because you need two harnesses. So it really makes it a huge space problem. And see see how big the harnesses are? So you need the harnesses to start at a kind of extreme distance. Um, but what I can do is do this. Uh, this time I want to do, um, I want to do this. And I want to cut this. I'll go like that. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go like this. Zip, zip. And I'll go like that. Now it's going to be as compact as I can get this. Because we start getting into areas, issues where we run into space problems. And then this one here is the only one I want connected here. I want this harness here to connect it there. And the other one's the dummy harness for the um, people, the dummy people. So let's see. Um, that's the dummy harness for the people we're going to be picking up. All right, so now, as you can see, those are together because we need to put the carcass of one of the rescue victims in, in here. So let me see if I can go abscond with somebody. Uh, the brakes aren't on, which is kind of annoying me, but... Um, there we go. Uh, where's my harness finally gone to? All right, so which one's... That's dummy harness. So I want to get in the non-dummy harness. So I'm going to go up. I want to go out with three. And that's because I'm just upside down. But, um... <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Okay, I got I didn't go in with four. Get my carcass in there. All right, so I'm in here. Uh, the only reason that why it's so friggin' goofy is the. Uh, the only reason it's so goofy is you see how these are all tangled up. So, but that's not the end of the world. Um, what I'll do to fix to hopefully fix that is go like this, and then when I launch it. I should be able to have it there. Um, we make it the same height as the wheel. That's fine. And then I'll, let me. This is dropping to the ground. That's part of why it's when it lands, it thuds and dances. Okay. Let me grab this cable. Hook that up there. That's gonna be better. Harness, not dummy harness. 3K. So now when this picks me up, see now it's gonna orient properly. So I can put a um, dummy on the other side, and I can slide us both in. All right, see, before what I'd have to do is this. I'd have to go look at a pad seat and quickly jump, and as you can see, I would have ended up falling to my inevitable death. Now I can press the seat button, and while not perfect, I can get in here, and then I can grab them off, sit them. Would it be nice to have a little more space in here? Yeah, but it's not a big deal. Um, okay, good. So that's kind of, this is moving along. This is getting, uh, so we kind of have the ability to do a rescue now. Um, is there one in the world? Let me save this really quick. All right, let me see if there's a rescue in the world. I know this is probably getting super long, but... Um, Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to worry about uh, doing a rescue, but um, actually, can I pick up the doctor? Let's go here real quick. I don't know if I can pick up this doctor. If I can pick up this doctor, um, there's usually a doctor at that thing. If I can pick him up. If I can pick the doctor, the good doctor up, um, we can... Uh, test this. Okay, and then this will go in. Bingo. Okay. And I don't really care for their comfort in there. Did I not turn the sensitivity back down? I don't know. I don't want to reset it just because it's going to be annoying. Oh, I have all my... Um, I have all my trims in there again, which caused me problems. That's what it was. Okay. I have everything in, all trimmed up, all screwy. So. Okay. I need a. I need to increase the throttle. All right, so it's flying really well. I just need to stop screwing with it too much and trying to do too much. You know, at some point I'll make a custom gyro and I'll retrofit it, but right now it's working. Like in my Hummingbird, which has probably the most complicated flight characteristics, being a VTOL and having a lot of uh, complex systems and transition points, it, um, it uses a... Uh, It, it goes, it has a custom kind of gyro system, but then it also goes through a regular gyro for final smoothing. And that way I don't need a bunch of like angular momentums and everything. Add, add in just a little bit of yaw trim there. Probably do a good hundred knots here. Um, you know, I I need to. I don't have the space as part of the problem. Is this? You know, with this engine, I just don't have the space. Um, I need to increase my gearing, my total gearing, but I just struggle with space. This could also be wider. I kind of like the thin thinness of it, but it could go one block wider. Uh, so maybe I'll do that for the passenger compartment. 
is uh, thicken it by one block. Um, yeah, that it could it could go one block wider and be still be pretty uh, nice and compact. All right, so let's uh, come in a little bit fast here, and then I'm going to uh, chop the throttle on the prop, or the collective on the prop. And let's come down. See if I can grab the dock. Um, five should be my uh, wheel brakes. I'm gonna put those on so that when I land, I can just kind of stomp on the wheel, wheel brakes. I don't know if I can pick up this doctor. The loot crate there, though. You know, uh, one of the things you need for rescue before we could even use this really is um, need the ability to. Um, need the ability to have an altitude hold so you, that you can um, see I'm stuck in here because this this is blocking my toggle button okay so that's not a big deal I can get out and then okay make sure my brakes are on brakes are on okay good let me see if I can pick this doofus up now anybody in here you can't pick you up you stink um, anyway so should be able to do that but I'm liking it. Uh, let me find the bike. Uh, the bike. The uh, there was a leaf bug that um, that kind of looks like this that I like. Um, that I was thinking of naming this after. Uh, Katie did. That's what it is. Katie did. So let me open up a Katie did. Um, that's what this is going to be called. That's Katie did. Here's a better picture that kind of shows, you know, the shape of uh, what we're working with here. Yeah, see, that's Katie did. So that's what this is called now. Um, I like it. It's it's coming along. It's uh, yep. So uh, you know, I I feel like kind of getting into a, a brand new build. Uh, but you know, I wanted to. I want to have a suite of vehicles that I can do any mission. I don't want to have to like keep passing up missions because. Uh, you know, we just don't have the equipment to do it. So let me save this as the career Katie did. This says Vespine for this one, but um, I want Katie did. Career Katie did. Okay, so this is going to be probably, I don't know if I'll make it green, but uh, yep, so this functions pretty well. This works nicely. Um, good little helicopter for uh, doing career missions. So I think I'll end it there. Um, may take a break from this and go and do um, Mac R and take the Mac R up to the mountain and get a container. And like I said, the reason I started playing with the helicopter was uh, the it was uh, it was nighttime. It was pouring rain and it was going to be a mess trying to get up that mountain. And I didn't want to wreck and break. The, uh, the Mac R, so I decided, you know, I would uh, not at the time. So um, I might do that to go make a little money. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.